as well. I think we're going to go back to that Kenton football game if we have it. So let's roll the highlights. Kenton and Wapakoneta. Can we get to that one for Western Buckeye League play? There we go. I wanted to start at the beginning to get all the highlights. Interesting first half. Two teams that have scored a lot of points over the years. Not scoring much here. Austin Baroker takes in the Trent Heights pass. 25-yard pickup. And it's Hines trying to find Baroker again on the screen, but Wapakoneta, that's stout defense. And they keep it to a short game. Redskins defense standing strong. Big sack forces Kenton to turn it over on downs. Wapak comes out firing. Manny Voorhees connects with Jace Copeland. Seven yards, but over the middle. Kenton gets it back. On the move, Heights. First down yardage. And we got a field goal, 25 yarder. So three to nothing. Kenton ensuing kickoff. Wapakoneta's Riley Gibson tries to make something happen. Returns it all the way back into Kenton territory. How about the Wildcats with this three to nothing lead? Dwayne Stadler was tweeting me today, said upset of the night was Kenton over Wapak. Let's see if it happens though. Wapak. Sacked by Nathaniel Leffler here. So Kenton feeling strong early on. Wapak going for it. Voorhees pulls it down and runs. Can't quite get the yardage he needs. So Kenton goes back on the attack. Looking for Chris Deardor for a big game. But one play after a touchdown has been called. A called back because of a penalty. Heights tries Deardorf again. Picked off by Copeland. Defense Struggle continues, tied at three thanks to a field goal. And in the second half, they open up the playbooks. Four touchdowns for Wapak, one for Kenton. Redskins get the win, they're 3-0. And how about that streak?